was really important, and uh, you know, and this was the best system, you know, for my liking. Um, and I thought, you know, having me in this system it would, it would only improve the team and it would give us a, a real good chance, real good chance of the Guys, what are your early impressions of Relief Brown? Oh man, he's that kid's a little jitterbug. You know, he's he's so he's such a nice guy too, such a great personality, but a, a crazy athlete. You know, he's all over the place. Can move really fast. Can catch. Can you know? Can see the holes. I can't wait to see him in pads. What's this uh, running back group been for you? Obviously, you yourself, Austin, Darwin, the relief. What's that been for you just to be around all the road? It's been good. It's been good. You know, like you said, Austin, Darwin, relief, um, Outlaw, and Colombo, we've, we've all been working hard. And, you know, we've been working at it as a unit. You know, we haven't been, um, it's been healthy competition so far. Um, and that's all I, I've asked for is just healthy competition. You know, um, I'm not going to bring a guy down. You know, just because he's in the same position as me. You know, we're going to work together. We're going to fight with each other so we can bring each other up. You know, and it's been really, really healthy. So. You, you were in one program for so long, doing things one way. To come in here, is there anything that Lincoln does that stands out that's different from what you were used to? <sighs> yeah, um, I would say, you know, his practices, they're a lot more... Um, they're a lot more stern, you know, and, and a lot more to the point, which I love, you know, and uh, um, yeah, it's just the way that he goes about things, it's, it's it's different, second to none, you know, he's just, he's a very well thought thought out coach, and you know, he, he cares about his players, cares about his plays, but he knows when to, you know, get the work done and when to have fun at the same time, you know, he's just, he's a great coach. When a coach comes in and lays down that marker right away, we're playing for championships. What does that do for play? For, for your psyche, for attitude, enthusiasm, what have you? It almost, I mean, when a coach comes with the type of enthusiasm, enthusiasm that Coach Riley comes with, it almost makes you immediately on your edge, uh, you know, gets you, gives you that chip on your shoulder because you don't want to disappoint him because, you know, you see how hard he's working, you see how, how much he's putting in, you know, that's, you want to put in that much, you want to do that, you want to run through a wall for him because, you know, he came from the jump, you know, he said who he was, he said what he was trying to do with this team, and if you're going to buy in, you're going to buy in, if you're not, we don't have space for you, you know, and so that, that type of mindset, it, it's infectious, you know, around the whole, the whole team. All the talent you guys have at running back, at receiver, across the board. How do you all get enough touches this year in this offense? Oh, we're gonna get enough. You know, that's 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 Coach Riley for you know, and he's had he's had players like from completely different positions that are all dudes or the same positions that are all dudes and, and figured out a way to get them the rock to make sure they shine. You know, so I'm not worried about that at all. You know. Everybody gets to eat, pretty much, you know. And so um, I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm excited to see Austin go go off. I'm, just, I'm excited myself to to do something special. I'm excited for everybody on this team to do something special. Travis, there was a day in college football where there weren't really interconference transfers the same way there are now, and it feels like a, a totally new landscape. What's it like to, to come to, you know, not just a new school, but a school like Jimson that you're familiar with and that you played against, and how quickly do you sort of shed one school and, you know, feel like you're in a new skin? Well, you know, it's it wasn't a quick transition, but, you know, um, it, I mean, it had to have happened. You know, I, I needed to, I needed to, worry about my future at that time and I thought USC can bring me the better future in football um, you know the transition was tough you know the decision was easy but the the um, the transition part and you know getting comfortable that was the hard part you know but I'm fully settled now and uh, very very happy to be here um, I'm a Trojan all day, you know, and whatever colors I'm wearing, I'm, I am, you know, solely into those colors. Is there a benefit, though? Because you, you did play against them, so you did have some knowledge of what, what this program was about. You grew up here, so you knew what it was like in the past. 
Is that helpful in, in, in making that adjustment? Oh, 100%. You know, I, I look around this campus almost every day, you know, and say, like, wow, I'm, I'm here. I'm at SC. You know, I've never in a million years thought I would be here, but I'm here right now. And so that's, you know, that, that has been the easier part, you know, to that realization that I am at SC. And, you know, not everybody gets to do this. And not everybody can say that I'm doing what I'm doing. And so I'm just... It's, it's really gratifying. How hard did you get that you come out of high school? USC? Yeah. Not at all. Not at all? <laughs> did you want them to, though? Did of course. Of course. I was always a big USC fan. You know, he, um, my older brother went to UCLA, and so it would, be so, it would have been sweet from the jump to come to USC, but... I never, I was never a highly recruited running back coming out of high school. I had two offers, Oregon and uh, New Mexico State, and I wasn't going to go play for New Mexico State. No disrespect. <laughs> when, you look, when you look back on that, how do you, how do you kind of reconcile that all those schools overlooked you and you've done all this stuff since then? Um, I don't take it personally. You know, there's a billion kids out in California, and a whole bunch of them get overlooked. You know, with the skill sets, you know, like I have. Um, but you know, I was just very, very glad that Oregon gave me that opportunity to show my skill set on a high on a high stage, and I'll always be thankful. You talked about the culture on this team. How would you say it's different now versus a few months ago? Oh, it's a lot. I would say about 100% of the players here have all bought into it. Um, you know, we know what we have to do. I've never seen. I've been on. I've been a part of teams that you know won the Rose Bowl, and I, I've never seen a culture so strong than this one with with the whole with all the players that are bought into it. Um, and so that's what makes me the most excited is because we have all this talent, but. Besides talent, we are, we're focusing on everything but talent. And so I'm just, it's just really exciting me for this year because of that. Can you elaborate on that culture? In what ways do you actually see that? How does it kind of come to fruition? Well, like things, little stuff like, like school. Well, not little, obviously, <laughs> but, you know, homework and stuff like that. You know, um, you got guys that are that are doing their homework, going to every single class because they don't want to let the team down in up downs or whatever we have to do if you don't go, you know. And so that's the type of culture that we've built here, where you know you got guys who actually care about the team, you know. And you don't see that everywhere. You know, it's very hard to come by, and I'm, I'm super excited just. For that. Since we last talked to you in the spring, the big addition is Jordan Addison. Different position, obviously, but have you been able to see him this summer and get an early peek at what he can do? Yeah, man, Jordan Addison is a, he's a freak of nature. You know, that, that man can run like a gazelle, has hands like nobody's business, you know, and uh, I, I always compare him to Calvin Ridley because, you know, he just has that type of running style and his cuts are just super smooth. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to go watch him out there in pads. Uh, yeah, he's, he's a great addition to this one. What do you recall when, when that was happening? And there's reports that USC is going to get the Rainy Bolitnikoff Award winner. What would you say out of here? Oh, what, what do you recall when that was first kind of happening and your first reaction to the thought of getting the reigning top receiver in football? I, you know, it was, it was DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs> <laughs> it was just, we're, stack, we're stacking it up. You know, we, we just keep stacking it. Um, and, and I knew that it was going to be a great, great addition, um, you know, and especially meeting him for the first time and his personality. He just meshes so well with us. Everything we hear about him, the top thing that keeps coming up is his speed. Um, was there kind of a moment in off-season workouts where his speed, like, really jumped out at you for the first time? Yeah, you know, we're, we're all out there running, you know, 30s and, you know, 10-second time splits and stuff like that. And, um, you know, the highest person, the fastest person is running like 21 and, or 20, high 20s and stuff like that. I run a high 20 and close to 21 and he's running high 22s. You know, he, he's moving. Um, I see smoke coming out of the back of the street. <laughs> he's, he's actually moving out there and um, it's fluent too. It's so, it's so like, you know, it's hard to explain, but it, it's really nice. You guys are going to see. 
was some controversy about tampering and all the crazy transfer rules and like coaches kind of bickering back and forth with each other. Like, does that reach you as a player? Uh, no, not me. You know, I, I try not to focus on any of that stuff. You know, I, I let you know Coach Riley handle that stuff because that's his job, and, uh, and I know he'll handle it. But um, no. A big part of the transfer portal is like talking to players talking about NRI opportunities. And obviously, you're here to play football, and that's your number one priority. But just how much does that also come into your view of something that you want to play a college career somewhere? Like, there's kind of ample NIL opportunities. Yeah, it came in a little bit. You know, I wanted to expose the um, with the opportunity that's been presented for to college football players. You know, to actually get paid for you know the work that they do. Um, it's it's awesome. It's awesome to me. You know, it was me transferring was never about the money. You know, it was about my future in football and how long I could play football. Um, but you know, NIL is definitely a plus. Have you worked much?